Hi, it's Stu Leonard. Uh, how are you? We operate seven food stores, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey. And we have not had to reopen our store because we're in the food business and we've been open the entire time. But I feel like we've had to open, reopen Stu Leonard's about a dozen times because there's constantly new information from the CDC, from President Trump, Governor Murphy, Governor Cuomo, Governor Lamont, the mayors of our different towns and cities that we're in. And we've had to keep adapting and changing all the time. So I'd like to share with you some tips. After two million customers have walked through um, our stores at Stu Leonard. So the first thing I'd say, when you go to reopen your business, here's the first thing you gotta do. You have to convince your customers that it's the cleanest place they can be every day. One of the things we're doing at Stu Leonard, super deep cleaning every night. It's cost us extra money, obviously, but um, we want to make sure that, that, that we're germ-free in this building at night. Up to hospital sanitation standards, and the CDC publishes some guidelines for you that you can check them. Cleanest place. The second thing, optically, make sure the customers see you cleaning. It's not good enough just to have a clean place, but make sure everybody who works with you is cleaning things, wiping things down. Have plenty of sandy wipes, have plenty of uh, hand sanitizer available for your, your uh, uh, customers that come into your store. Very important, they wanna see you uh, being clean. The other thing is make sure you wear a mask and get gloves for all your people. I'm gonna take this off right now. I'm, I'm within six feet of anybody, but um, you wanna make sure that, that um, you know, you are practicing good social distancing and, and hygiene by using a mask and gloves. And, and also your customers now coming in, I'd ask them to have masks and gloves. You can buy these, they're very inexpensive right now, but it's worth it to hand them out to people as they enter your business. The next thing is make social distancing really easy. One of the things we've done, well, we have wide aisles at our store, but we have lines on the floor which allow people to know where six feet is. Up at the registers, at all our service areas, like the deli, like the meat department, the fish department, where they're interacting with the customer. If you have a, a, I could just imagine if you have a salon that you're getting ready to open. Social distance is gonna be a challenge. What happens when you wanna go get your nails done? I have four daughters, so I know all about that. So it almost has to be like you're going into a bank and you stick your hands through a teller area. You have to have plexiglass set up. Um, plexiglass is expensive, um, but you can use even some type of thin plastic. Customers expect to see a barrier between you and them in the store, very important. Um, the other thing is make sure all of your people are conscious of clean hands. The only three spots you're gonna get it, nose, mouth, and, and uh, eyes. So if you touch your, your face at all, that's gonna be a problem. Customers notice everything you're doing too. And the only reason I wear gloves, because these aren't clean, obviously, because I'm touching door handles and walking up and down stairs, but it reminds me not to touch my face. So that's very important. The next thing that's really important is to educate your people. There's a lot of rumors out there. Um, a, a lot of your doctors will be very happy to give you some advice about the coronavirus and how you catch it. Some people think that you can catch it right here on, on, a, on a food product. Um, you know, and do I have the virus on my clothes when I get home? Uh, what should I do? There's a lot of questions your people have who want to come and work uh, in, in your uh, business. So that's very important, education, education, education. The other thing that's really important is communication, communication, communication. Um, I'm getting ready right after this to do a video to all our 3,000 team members at Stu Leonard's. Just to update then on the latest thing going on with the virus, with the business, what's happening. I got a bunch of nice notes customers have written about them that I'm gonna share with them, but you can't communicate enough right now with your people. The other thing you have to realize, don't expect everybody's gonna wanna show up for work. You know, you may think a lot of your people wanna come back and work, they don't. Um, 
you know, there's a lot of people that are elderly. I'm 65. I hope you don't call me elderly, but um, I'm at the point where, you know, I'm in the high statistic area as far as catching the virus. There's a lot of elderly people. They don't want to come into work. Fine. You know, just be very gracious and, 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 and smile. There's a lot of people with respiratory issues, with heart issues. They might have had a bout of cancer and they don't want to come and work. So I wouldn't put any pressure and, and allow them to, um, to, uh, to be able to have their job back. You know, if they want to take 30 days off or whatever, allow that. You're, let's look at this as a long term. That's what we're doing. And the other thing is that you have to be a role model, okay? I go through the store with my mask all day. I have gloves. I practice six foot social distancing. I used to love to hug customers. I used to shake their hands, take pictures with them. Gone, not done anymore. Um, so, um, you know, it's important that you are a role model and also that, that you are educated. You know, you have to go home and turn that TV on and make sure you're up to date on what the CDC is recommending, the WHO, President Trump, uh, who, whatever leader you have, and you have to stay in tune with what's going on and and, and uh, be on top of it. So educate yourself. Lastly, what I want to say is realize your customers are afraid. Okay, this is, I, I read a statistic, it said that even if you go to open your restaurant up, there's only four out of 10 people that want to go out to eat right now. They're afraid. We notice it in the store right now. It's it's a shopping environment that's a lot different than it used to be. Um, people are a little afraid of, of, of each other. They're dodging each other a little bit, which is okay. You want to keep that six feet. So um, those are some tips. I, I talked to Ingrid Nui, who is a CEO of Pepsi. She's heading up the governor of Connecticut's um, campaign to reopen businesses. I ran these ideas by her, she liked them. She shared a few extra ones with me. And so um, I just hope you open your business successfully. I think we can do it safely. I think we can get this economy back in tip top shape. I know people that are dying to come to your business right now. They haven't had their hair cut. They haven't been out to a good restaurant. You know, they, they just haven't been out and they're dying to start getting back out into the real world again. Make it a great place for them. Make it safe and keep it safe for you and your team members who work for you. And I think we can open up America and and uh, and get back to the old times again. So those are my tips from Stu Leonard's. Good luck to you and, and um, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll be in to visit you and your, your business.